This is going to be an example of using Data Wedge with a string. So I have this barcode, and if you scan it, it's a code 128. You see the data, but actually embedded there is an L plus, and that's what we're going to try and do today is create a string that searches for L plus, and only barcodes with L plus. So when this is scanned, you see the L plus is in the barcode. So what we're going to do is create a data wedge profile that gets rid of this. And so let's start. If I go into my apps and select data wedge. So if I wanted to just do this in the demo program, I would change DW demo. But the profile I'm going to change because I have some other applications such as um, Avanti or Chrome or other applications that will require in Data Wedge, I'm going to change my profile zero. What I'm going to do here is go down to keystroke output, make sure that's enabled, and then I'm going to make an advanced data formatting rule. And let's make a rule, and I'm going to hit the button up here to say new rule. And that new rule, I'll just make it easy, we'll call it what I'm trying to get rid of, L plus, we'll say OK. So, Here's the key though, I just created the L plus rule. That has to take precedent over rule zero, but we're going to leave rule zero. So L plus, my criteria, I'm going to say what's my string to check for, and it's going to be that L plus that's in this barcode. And the string position, we're going to leave it because it's at zero. If we see in that sample, L is zero, sp zero spot, the plus is at one, and then anything after. So. Um, my source criteria, I'm going to do barcode input. This doesn't apply to all decoders, it only applies to code 128. So I'm going to select that, I'm going to go back. I'm going to go source criteria is done. So what's my action? So once I have the criteria done, what needs to happen? And that's going to be my action. So I'm going to create a new action. And I'm going to say skip ahead. Skip ahead but I want skip ahead to be my first rule. Skip ahead, how many characters? Two, the L and the plus. So with this rule, if it sees, if it sees the L plus, this is the action. I'm gonna skip ahead the two, and then I'm going to send the data. And rule enabled, and then, so here's my rule, L plus, and then rule zero, that's good. But then we also want to make sure we enable this ADF. So once it's enabled, now remember we did this in profile zero. So this won't work in the Data Wedge application. So if we open up, um, let's just say this search bar right here, and we'll just say scan. Now you see the front does not contain the L plus. So if I scan another code 128 barcode, that is code 128. Oops, we see 987 should come up. Yep, there we go. Okay.